Hello! Hi! Can you hear the music that's playing? No, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, um. Can you hear Aviary Attorney? Uh oh. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know why this game wants to give me all of the trouble. Huh. It still doesn't want to. And the feedback. Ah, yeah. Okay. The way I fixed the feedback last time is I just turned the gains way down. So I'm hoping that fixes it. Oh, there you go. Okay, you should be able to hear Aviary Attorney now. Haha! -ha! Got it! Perfect, okay. I will just scooch a little bit closer to the mic. Not too close though, so that way I don't look weird on the camera. Perfect. We are doing the final <laughs> finale of Aviary Attorney, which is what I consider to be the bad ending. Um, but the good thing is we're not going to have to go through all the stuff getting evidence this time, so this is probably going to be a lot shorter. <laughs> So I am going to load a previous day. Speed run! So I just need to get to the trial of Kokoriko. And it's really messed up. There they are. I'll ask one more time. What is your name? Are you with the police? The royal guards? Speak, bird. Brat, man, Beaumont, we've been here all night, and he simply ain't talking. He didn't react to coaxing, didn't react to torture. Maybe it's time to, you know, administer some justice. Justice. <laughs> that word. Brat, oh, the rooster finally crows. You want to know who I am? Fine. My name is Severin Cocorico. I am a public prosecutor of Cord the SCCs. Well, Savvy, it's been a pleasure, but we can't be having spies running around our base of operations, you know, can we? So without further ado, I hereby sentence you to... Wait a minute, Piero. This is no ordinary spy. Because he's a prosecutor? No. Because he's the bastard who condemned my father ten years ago. Whoa, are you sure? I had my suspicions when I saw his smug air of arrogance. Air of arrogance, that doesn't roll off the tongue. His holier-than-thou glare. But now I know his name and occupation. <laughs> There's no doubt. My boy. Do you remember, Bird? Do you remember the trial of a homeless lion in the winter of 1835? What was your father's name? Jean. Jean Beaumort. What were his crimes? His only crime was trying to feed a starving child. He took a handful of vegetables from a grocer's stand. Not out of greed, but out of sheer desire to see me survive. But he was seen by a policeman. Another arrogant cockerel like yourself, actually. So my father was thrown in jail. He was dragged to court. I had the privilege of watching the proceedings from the stands. I remember your sharp words. This man is a thief. This man is a scoundrel. He deserves the harshest possible punishment for his crimes. You didn't care about the consequences. You didn't care about why my father did what he did. All you cared about was fulfilling your 
lust to see a criminal behind bars. My father received a sentence of five years. He died on his third. Do you remember him? Mademoiselle, in all my days as a prosecutor, I've seen over thousands of cases. I'm not going to remember a single bread thief. Tell that to Javert. Yeah, I made that joke the first time. You rotten connard! We're all just insects to you, aren't we? Who cares if a child starves on the streets? As long as you put enough criminals behind bars to meet your quota. Am I right? Your silence speaks volumes of your guilt. Severin Kokoriko, you've been tried by the people of the Second Republic. We have found you guilty for the counts of conspiracy, of the murder of Croc Monsieur, and of the murder of my father. Jean Beaumont. Oh, I have been found guilty. Mademoiselle, if you want to shoot me so you can fulfill your revenge fantasies, then by all means, shoot him. So that trial changed him, right? And he started being better after that. Yes. Um, not that one specifically, because again, he says he doesn't remember it, but like... It was sometime after that where he was like, oh man, this sucks, this is not justice. But don't pretend for a moment that this mob resembles a court of justice in any form. Court of justice? <laughs> no, there's a contradiction. Bird, you know nothing of justice. Fra Ramis, read this man his last rites. Ah, <laughs> with pleasure, madam. I can't do an Australian accent. Falcon, we have to make a move. Say something. And here's why I hate this ending. We just stay silent. We don't help him. <laughs> Kokoriko's gonna die if you don't say something. <sighs> I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. What? Do you have any last words? Just pull the trigger and be done with this. I know, our beautiful rooster boyfriend. <laughs> and he's dead. There's nothing more to see here. Let's go. Falcon? <laughs> yeah, this is... Ugh. I hate this. I hate this so much. What the hell are you doing? Where are you going? Around you, Sparrowson. Fat cat bourgeoisie are getting away with murder. Wolves have infested the courts and the churches. Severin Cocorico, perhaps the most righteous man in all of France, is lying dead at the hands of an unruly mob. Justice is dead, Sparrowson. It doesn't have to be like that. You could have done something to save Severin. You want to be a heroic lawyer so badly? Fine. Go be a hero. Don't need my help. The key to the aviary attorney office. Take it. What? What are you... No, stop with the melodrama, Falcon. If we hurry, we'll be able to tell Inspector Valerity what we saw, and he'll be able to arrest the rebels before they escape. So do it. You don't need me to hold your hand. And when you see the inspector, make sure to tell him this. The Viridian Killer has returned. The... Viridian Killer? I don't understand. Yeah, Falcon's... Mm. Falcon, where are you going? And I don't remember if he just admitted to being the Viridian killer just there. Or if he's like, nope, there's the friar. <laughs> no, I don't want to save. Oh, I oh, I have already saved. I do wish to continue. <laughs> Our boy's dead. <laughs> Yeah, this one's not very- yeah. This one's not super long. But Severin's dead. And we did nothing to stop it. My- My, my. To think that Papa would buy this place just for little old me. I must throw a party to celebrate. Let's see. I'll need some lights, some decorations, and some world-class cuisine. <laughs> Bloody wear steak, perhaps? <gasps> Hello, Dan. Hello, Stray. 
This is, uh, you can't force me to save him. He, this is, we're doing the, the last route. This is the, eh, this is the final finale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so the two good, two good ends. First one we've already done. Kokoriko dies, unfortunately, but we're able to, you know, kind of do something. The best ending, ending B, we're able to save Kokoriko, we're able to just kind of excommunicate the king and kind of just fix things. And now we did nothing in the catacombs, and now Kokoriko's dead. So... Can't... Well, I don't know if he's gonna... You missed my one line as F-Boy Friar. <laughs> But what to do about the music? Oh, I should ask my papa if he knows any pop stars. Someone cool like, uh, Monsieur Licht. Licht? I can't pronounce that word. You disgust me. <gasps> I wish I could turn like that, just two-dimensional. <laughs> who sent that? It was you, Dame Caroline. It was you who showed me the ugly face of injustice. It was you who taught me that our court system is corrupt to the core. It was you who made me realize that if a man desires justice, he must bring about it with his own two hands. Every time I see anything F-Boy related, I want to hear it in his voice. <laughs> Music. Yeah. What's with that mask? M Monsieur Falcon? Is that you? Falcon is dead. He perished in the graves that lie underneath our very feet. You can call me the Viridian Killer. <laughs> the Viridian! Oopsie doopsies. Oopsie doopsies. I forgot that this is the very, very bad end. This is the very, very, very bad end, and it's not good at all. What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? What am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay? I'm falling to pieces. Oh! Falcon? Oh, it's you, Inspector. Monsieur Sparrison, I must congratulate you. Thanks to your quick actions on Wednesday, we were able to find and apprehend the rebel leader while she still lurked in her den. I was just doing my duty, Inspector. <laughs> Don't be so modest. Lesser men wouldn't have delved into the catacombs so brazenly. You are a hero. But... But Kokoriko died. And I can't help but feel I could have done something to save him. Kokoriko died and... Honorable and righteous man. His sacrifice wasn't for nothing. This is grimdark, 100%. Still, Sparrison, if you're looking to redeem Kokoriko's death in a fitting manner, I have the perfect gift for you. Here. Take it. What's this? It... It looks like a license to practice law. D does this mean... Correct? In light of the extreme circumstances, the king has granted you the power of an interim prosecutor. Legal license has been added to your evidence folder. Wow! I'm officially a qualified lawyer! And as a prosecutor, no less! This is just temporary, you understand, but if you prove yourself, who knows? Maybe I could pull some strings to make it permanent? This is amazing! But... Wait, why have you given this to me? I'm glad you ask. We need a prosecutor to lead the case against Leone Beaumort. Leone? Leone. The ringleader of the rebel group. Beaumort? The scary-looking lioness? Correct. I would be honored to take the job, but why aren't you asking one of the other prosecution? Like, I don't know, Rupert Rabington? <laughs> Rabington? <laughs> I wouldn't trust that klutz to make my tea, let alone handle a case as important as this. Sparrison, you clearly have the nerves and brains. I'm confident that you are ready to take this on. Take on me. Take me on. Oh, 
Okay, I I'll do it. So, what do I do? Well, your job as a prosecutor is to interview interview Beaumont. We've already beat all the information we can get out of her. Ooh, that's not good. But you must read Beaumont for her charges and see if you can uncover any new facts. Right. Got it. And, uh, what charges would those be? There are three. First, the murder of Severin Cocorico. Of course. Second, conspiring to incite a rebellion. Makes sense? Third, the murder of Dame Caterline Damo. Right. W wait, what? Oh, you didn't hear the news? On Friday evening, there was an er there was an enormous explosion at Chateau Cronier. Only one person was inside at the time, Dame Caterline Diamo, and she was killed instantly. What was she doing there? I thought Baron Roguile owned the household. In light of the Baron's death, his properties were auctioned off. The Diamos were the ones to purchase the chateau. I'm doing okay with French words today. We suspect that Dame Caterline was touring the hall for the first time when she met her fate. This is surreal. But wait, you arrested Le Leone Beaumart straight after I met you, right? And that was on Wednesday afternoon. How could she be possibly how could she possibly be guilty of committing a crime on Friday evening if she was in custody at the time? Simple. She has a large gang. She didn't plant the explosives herself, but we can be sure she gave the order. I don't understand the motive. Did Leone Beaumart hate Dame Caroline? Come on, Sparrowson. You've been granted prosecutor powers. You must start thinking like a prosecutor. I don't want to be that guy. Maybe I do. Is it... Dimiao? <laughs> Deamo. Right, okay. Beaumort ordered to have Dame Caterline killed because... She hates the bourgeoisie. It was an attack on the bourgeoisie. A rebel like Beaumort would no doubt have a deep hatred of the higher classes of society. Even in jail, she'd want him dead. That's a good theory. You seem to have a solid grasp of the rebel mindset, at least. Anyway, you may want to see the crime scene for yourself. Chateau Cronier? Yes. It's just a giant mound of rubble now. But as a prosecutor, you ought to see it with your own eyes. Soon be back to talking. Oh, okay, have fun walking the dog. Right. Got it. The trial is in three days' time. Beaumort's fate is all but guaranteed, so just turn up the courthouse and you'll be fine. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute, Inspector. About Falcon. You told me he turned cowardly and fled. What of it? Never mind. I'm sorry that your friend ran away, Sparrowson, but try to focus on the case. That's what matters. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to be the best prosecutor Paris has ever seen. My poor boy. My poor sweet boy. We'll go to the Chateau de Cronier. Sparrows and don't listen to this co <gasps> Whoa! Daniel Language! I'm gonna, gonna give you one of those. Sir, that's illegal. <laughs> this is the Chateau Cronier? Wow, it's completely destroyed. I think this is where the foyer was? Uh, so the main hall must be that big pile of charred rubble over there. It must have been one heck of an explosion. How many gunpowder kegs were used? Aha! A lawyer! But he's a chi he Yeah, he's a chicken. Daniel. Robino, don't sneak up on me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Wait, shouldn't you be doing community service at the Louvre? Nope. I've done my time. Now I'm free to follow my passion. Your passion is scaring people? No, bird brain. My passion of wartime photography. See, when I heard the massive explosion last week, I knew that I could get some juicy action shots. I was one of the first on the scene. Juicy action shots? Haven't you heard? Photographs of violence, death, and mayhem all make for great photograph opportunities. Hey Kyle, how's it going? I shouldn't be bonked for calling him a chicken. <laughs> well, you know what, I'll take it back. It, it'll be used for future, for, for future usage, just to uh, have it locked and loaded. 
Uh, don't judge me. People will be will pay big money for this stuff. Art galleries, newspapers, lawyers. Speaking of which, where's that partner of yours, the big guy? We broke up, I mean, don't work together anymore. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. It's going, just playing some Minecraft. How's that going? I managed to get this great photograph of the evening, and I figured if he was attached to the case, he might be interested in it. Hey, I I'm working on the case, show me. You are? Really? Alright then. <gasps> this is your great photograph? It's blurry. I can't make anything out. Well, yeah. I need at least a 30 second exposure for a good picture. It's not my fault the stupid people move around and ruin it. What good is a blurry picture to me? It's Minecraft. <laughs> doing sorting your inventory. Yeah, is it- are you doing like a castle, or I know one of my friends is doing a big tree house and a roller coaster. Uh, I can touch it up if you want. Draw over the blur, add some details. No, no doctoring! Bad, Robino. Jeez, you lawyers are a confusing bunch. Look, this is the only photograph of the event. You want it or not? Yes, give me. Give it to me. Fine. Fine, I'll take it off your hands. Whoa, I didn't say you could have this for free. 20 francs. 20 francs for that garbage? Uh, 20 francs for this work of art uh, that I could sell to a collector for 10,000 francs. You're robbing me blind at 20. I'm not working on anything right now. Maybe extending my sugarcane farm or starting the big, oh, a little slime ranch. Oh, that'll be so fun. 10. Nuh-uh. No bartering. 20 or no photograph for you. I got money. Fine. I'll take it for 20. Alright, alright. Here's your money, you thief. And here's your photograph. It's a pleasure doing business with you, buddy. Blurry photo has been added to your evidence folder. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a crime scene to examine. Hmm. Yes. That is indeed a big pile of rubble, much crime, many explosion. The real apple is working on some giant black building lot. Yes, they died on- oh no! Don't kill the slimes horribly! Does Inspector Velarde really expect me to trawl through all this wreckage for clues? I'll be here all day and night. If you're looking for golden valuables, forget it. Looters picked the place clean within hours after the explosion. I'm not here for gold, I'm here for clues. <laughs> sure you are. Either way, there's nothing left of value here. Can I make a suggestion? From one buddy to another? Try the garden. The garden? The explosion disintegrated the whole front of the house, but the back was pretty much untouched. So if there's any clues left, I'd wager that'd be the place to look. Oh, well... Thanks, Robino. That's a big help. Oh. I was hoping for a tip or something. I already gave you 20 bucks. Eventually, I'll rope more people in to play with us. <laughs> huh. Robino was right. This place is practically untouched. I feel so untouched right now. It's almost identical to when I was here last. Well, I guess it's time to go clue hunting. The fountain's still running. I wonder who pays for the maintenance costs. I can't quite see inside the top basin from here, but I can't imagine there'd be another mystery cigar. Well, let's take a look anyway. Couldn't hurt to look, I suppose, but I refuse to get my feet wet. My little birdie feet. <gasps> There's something dangling at the top. If I stand on my tiptoes, I can just about reach it without falling in. I did it! Ooh. It's a scrap of paper. It looks like it's been torn off of something. I see some writing. It's a little smudged from the water, but I can still read it. Let's see. Sparison, believe in yourself. No, no way. This message is for me. Did Falcon write this? Did he leave this message here because he knew I would check the fountain? But that means... Did Falcon play a part in the explosion of Chateau Cornier? Oh, man, so many questions. I should definitely stash this away. It might be a key piece of evidence in the trial. 
Fountain note has been added to your evidence folder. Select an area to examine. The statue's a little quiet. Maybe he's a little horse. Hey, Falcon, I got a joke. A horse walks into a bar and... Never mind. Oh. I still don't like these little cherub people. They can't be trusted. This statue is innately beautiful, wouldn't you say, Falcon? Oh. Now I'm sad. Bonk Sparrowson for those beautiful, beautiful puns. <laughs> this is the spot where Monsieur Cornway was killed. The bloody patch is no longer sticky, but the stain remains. Anything else that I can touch? Oh no! I take back that bonk. This poor Sparrowson. He's just, he's having a sad time. I think there's nothing else for me to touch. -le. No, no more things for touch -like. I'm done here. Bye, garden. Bye, fountain. Bye, horses and creepy cherubs. Goodbye, Sparrowson. You're back! Find anything interesting? Nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to you about it. Nope, your lead was useless, buddy. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I best be getting on my way. Good day. Ahem. <clears throat> yes? Do I receive a tip for generously letting you in on such a valuable lead? Sure, here's a tip. You can quickly remove the skin from potatoes by boiling them for a few minutes, then dunking them in cold water. That's a good tip! That's... that's actually a great tip! Oh my god, yeah. I love this game. Her waist snatched. Outfit, 100%. And I, I've always said, the, the cool new accessory that's going to be out next year, Tiny Snakes. Tiny Snakes are always going to be a hit new cool accessory. Hello there, General Kenobi. Another police officer. You look a little short for an interrogation specialist. Wow, I, I just made a Star Wars reference and now they made a Star Wars. Oh, no, no. I'm not an officer. My name's Sparrowson. I'm a prosecutor, see? Totally different. What does that slip say? Interim proce uh, <laughs> processor. Prosecutor. I knew I wouldn't be getting out of here alive, but they didn't have to insult me by putting some junior lawyer on my case. Hey, I'm no junior. I'm the real deal. <laughs> nice try. I saw the issue date on that slip. You're as fresh-faced as they come. Well, yeah, fresh-faced or not, I'm the one that's in charge of prosecuting you. Oh, heck, Star War references for days. For, for, for Kepler's. I don't know. So first things first, you are Leone Bumart, are you not? Yeah, that's me. Okay, great. I'm in the right jail cell. That's a good start. Now, mademoiselle, I have to read you your... Don't call me mademoiselle. Do I look like a child to you? Well, children don't normally lead rebellions, I guess. Anyway, madam, I have to read you your charges. Let's see where to start. Well, the murder of Cocorico. You're being charged with the murder of Severin Cocorico. And I know you're guilty of that because I saw it with my own eyes. Really? You saw that bird's death? Yep. I was lingering in the shadows. I heard your speech. I saw you put the pistol to his head and pull the trigger. I watched your expression. You didn't show a hint of remorse. You really were there. I had no idea we were being watched. I gave you too little credit. I thought you were a law school dork. But now I found out you're some sort of spy. He is adorable. I love him. I... I am like a spy, aren't I? The name's Sparrowson. Sparrowson, Sparrowson. Licensed to practice law for the immediate future. Yeah! <laughs> <I'm> stupid. <laughs> My mistake. You're still a dork. 
Oh. Well, at least I'm not a murderer. This schoolyard banter is idiotic. Read me my next charge. You're being charged with conspiring to incite a rebellion. I suppose I'd be a fool to deny that. But you know, I never wanted violence. I thought maybe if I could do things right, this could be a peaceful revolution. I would find that easier to believe, madam, if hundreds of weapons weren't found in your catacombs hideouts. Adorkable Sparrowson. Blame the wolf and crocodile who pushed me into buying them. Would you like to elaborate on that? Not really. I take full responsibility for my own actions. Read me the next charge. You're being charged with the murder of Dame Cataline Damo. Who? Uh, she's a bourgeoisie kitten. Small, sickly sweet. Flutters her eyelashes, but pulls your oh, pulls out your heart when you least expect it. I have no idea who this person is. Well, there was an explosion at Chateau Crenier on Friday evening, and Inspector Volardi is confident you were behind it. Last Friday? When I was sitting in this jail cell. Yep. That Friday. I have no idea why the police feel like tacking on some random, unrelated charge into my list of crimes. But it makes no difference. Even without that charge, I'm guaranteed to face the guillotine blade, right? Right. Or the noose, if the judge is sick of guillotines that day. But, madam, I want to do my job right. And part of that involves not prosecuting you for crimes you didn't commit. If there's any way you can prove that you weren't involved with the explosion at Chateau Cornier, please tell me now. No. Let him charge me. Maybe I'll be taking the fall for some poor sod who doesn't deserve to be punished. That's not how justice works, madam. <laughs> you know nothing of justice. Gone. What's my next charge? Actually, that looks like everything. Well, madam, I shall see you in court shortly. I'll try to get to the bottom of this Chateau Cornier business, but in any case, I advise you to make peace with this world. Wait. It was Sparrowson, wasn't it? Let me ask you something before you go. Do you resent me for killing your friend? Ugh. <sighs> Uh, he prosecuted her father. He cha he turned into a good man, but I can see why. And we didn't really like him. I think if I say that I don't resent you, she'll maybe have a turn of heart as well. Because I want her to, I don't want her to think that I'm stacked against her as a prosecutor as well, too. I'm trying to be as on the level about it as I can. No, I don't resent you, madam. I heard your story in the catacombs. I don't think what you did was right, but it was understandable. Of course I'm going to see that justice is still served for Kokoriko's death. I don't, though, because I've seen that side of her and always chosen up. Well, I mean, yes, usually she chooses to not be violent. That is something that we have noticed in other playthroughs. So I think she's kind of been up against the wall on things as well. It's... I don't know. I might be... I might be metagaming a little bit just because I know that, like, she's had it hard and... She wants it to not be violent? Either way, I've already picked it. But I promise that I'm not going to let personal prejudices cloud my judgment. Yeah, that's, that's what I want her to know, that I'm not just going to be attacking her because of my personal feelings. There you go. Maybe I was wrong before when I said you know nothing of justice. You... Seem like a good prosecutor. Thank you. I can only aspire one day to be as good as Severin Kokoriko was. Mom! Jenna's metagaming again! <laughs> I, I just... 
I want her to know I'm on her side. I'm, I mean, like, I'm not, but, like, I'm not going to put my prejudices before her fair trial. Because we witnessed the murder happen. There's no way we can't be like, well, we didn't... We we can prosecute her for that, no problem. But I don't want it to be like, nee, she killed my buddy. Alright. I think there were five days in this, so there might be two more days after this day. So, Sparrowson, so, Sparrowson, how confident do you feel about this trial? Super confident. <laughs> we're going to get a guilty verdict for that lioness for sure. That's the spirit. Let's kick some derriere. Yeah, let's do this. I should get an assistant. Ah, the doors are opening. Yes, I'm not on her side. I'm on the side of moral justice. That is putting it correctly. All right, settle down. Settle down, everyone. Is the prosecution here? We don't break the fourth wall. Maybe a little bit. Sparrowson, present. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Excellent. Are the jury all here? <laughs> all present and accounted for, Your Honor. And it is my understanding that the defense is representing themselves today, correct? Oh, hot dang, okay. That's... That's your cue, madam. You can see I'm here. Just skip the pantomime nonsense and convict me already. Now, now, we have a procedure to follow, madam. Well, let's do this right. Ugh, fine. Yes, I, Leone Beaumort, am here. Very good. Now, defendant, you are being accused of three crimes. First, you are charged with the murder of Severin Cocorico, the well-respected and benevolent prosecutor who worked for this very court. Ooh, that's a that's biased uh, language there, buddy. A benevolent prosecutor? What a Yeah, see? What a joke of a phrase. Silence, if you please. Second, you are charged with conspiring to incite a rebellion. And we shall have our rebellion. I said silence! Order! Order! Your third charge is for the murder of Dame Catalina Damu. Eh, sure, why not? Your Honor, I have doubt that the defendant is guilty of her... I have no doubt that the defendant is guilty of her first and second charges. In fact, I myself bore witness to the murder of Severin Cocorico. I could even deliver a testimony of the events. Oh, that won't be necessary. I confess. Silence from the defense, please! Continue, prosecutor. As I was saying, those two charges aren't to be contended. In my mind, they're clear as day. But I would like to address the third charge in this trial session. The bombing of Chateau Crenier. The murder of Dame Caroline. I plead guilty. Not just to the murder of Dame whoever, but to all three charges. Plead whatever you want, madam. I don't believe that you played any part in the attack. You were in jail at the time of the incident. You could have could have you couldn't have possibly had the means to issue an order to a lackey. To help me uncover the truth, I call the investigative officer, Inspector Velarde, to the witness stand. <laughs> Inspector Velarde, please approach the stand and recite the oath. <laughs> Just what are you playing at, Monsieur Sparrowson? What am I playing at? This was to be intended to be a straightforward trial. Why are you dragging this out with needless pedantry. Ooh. I'm securing justice, my dude. Is that what you call this nonsense? <laughs> justice? Fine, but you're wasting everyone's time if you ask me. Whatever. Let's get this over with. I, Inspector Just Volarti, swear to speak without hatred and without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Excellent. On to the questioning. Now, Inspector, why do you believe that Madame Beaumort is behind the bombing of the Chateau Crenier? Is it not obvious? <laughs> because she has a crystal clear motive. Madame 
The matter wants a rebellion. By killing a prominent bourgeoisie figure in a dramatic manner, she stirs up tension between the classes. A motive? That's all you're going by? Obviously not. I have evidence, too. You... You have evidence that Dame Madame Beaumort was behind the bombing? Real evidence? You didn't tell me about this before the trial. <sighs> I didn't think it'd be necessary to tell you. How was I to know that you would drag this out? Enough bickering, you two. Inspector, present your evidence. This is not how evidence works in American court systems. Very well, Your Honor. Oh, you're, you will all burn for your sins. I don't think this is uh, evidence, though. This was This is a poster that was found at the crime scene. It was crudely fastened to a pillar, around 50 meters from where the explosion occurred. You will all burn for your sins. That message is no doubt intended as a declaration of violence, a warning of what's to come. As you can see, the poster was damaged in the explosion and the ensuing fire. The signature at the bottom is nearly unreadable. Yeah, there's something. Despite this, it is evident that two names fit the space perfectly. Those names are... It's like a V? Or like a... I think it's a W? American court systems are probably not what we should be looking at for justice, I'll be honest. No. It... No. No. Fontaine and Piero? Uh-uh. I don't think so. F Fontaine and Piero? The two bar dwellers? I mean... I knew they were rebels because I saw them in the catacombs with my own eyes, but do you really think they did this? Of course. No other names fit the gap. And it's far too much of a coincidence for it to be anyone else. I don't think so. That looks like a W, not a... I don't know. It's true. I can't think of any other names that cleanly fill in the gaps. The inspector's evidence appears to be pretty convincing, prosecutor. Are you done with your direct examination? No, your honor. No, I'm not. There's no way that this poster was written by Fontaine and Piero, and I intend to prove it. They can't read. They're too stupid. <laughs> You're welcome to try. <laughs> but make it snappy, Monsieur Barrowson. Okay. I, I'm, it's, I'm 100% sure it's canon that Piero can't read. He's, he's my big dumb boy. This poster was found at the crime scene. Oh, there's no way. The whole front of the house was destroyed. Inspector, let's talk about the crime scene where you found the poster. As I said, it was crudely fastened to a pillar around 50 meters from where the explosion occurred. Which pillar, exactly? I don't know. Some pillar on the east side of the chateau near the middle of the colonnade? Does it really matter? Uh, yes, it do, because it's all destroyed. How the heckins did that pass as convin- I- right? I'm like, they- yeah, I could just make up a name on the spot and just be like, it's Wendell... Uh, Chunkaroonie. Chunker- Chunkarono. Because <laughs> there was an O at the end. And I can be like, yep, that's the person who did it now. I don't know who Fontaine and Piero are. Yes, absolutely. This could be a pivotal, pivotal case. Fact in the case. All right, my notes tell me it was the fourth column from the left. All right, great. Please tell us the... Oh, crud. No, 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 no. Still could be. So in other words, it has no relevance at all. Crud, crud, crud. There... No, don't... St I'm not stalling. I thought... No... <laughs> Wendell Chunkarona was my stage name. You have so many names, Dan. Fontaine Piero? I'm gonna name my next animal Wendell Chunkarona. <laughs> this is my legacy. <laughs> and did you say that Fontaine and Piero made this poster? They're idiots. Oh my god. There's no way. From the couple of times I've met them, I've come out with the impression that they are idiots. I can't imagine they'd be competent enough to pull off an attack like this. A man doesn't need to be competent to follow orders, Monsieur Sparrowson. 
Our current theory is that Madame Beaumort issued precise, encoded orders on how the attack would be carried out. Dan isn't your real name either. What? There's no way that's true. Yes? There are other possibilities? Maybe Pierre and Fontaine had no part in this attack. They're fugitive rebels associated with Madame Beaumort, and their names fit the burned signature. But it's within the realm of possibility that another person was involved, right? Do you have someone in mind? Oh, do you have someone in mind, prosecutor? Or are you just picking a theory? I think I have someone in mind. Actually, I have even more than that. I have evidence another person was involved with the Chateau Cornier attack. Inspector Velarde, I found this note in the garden fountain of Chateau Cornier. A note, you say? <laughs> Let's have a look. Sparrowson, believe in yourself? What is this sentimental rubbish? Some sort of self-help pamphlet? Ignore the contents of the note for the moment, Inspector. Focus on the shape of the paper. The shape? Well, it appears to be- Oh! Oh, we can flip it and- Flip it and reverse it. Probably ripped from a larger sheet. Wait! This tear! Ha! Ha! It looks familiar. Put it up, put it- You see it too. The torn edge of the note matches the torn corner of the poster. What conclusion can we draw from this? I posit that the person who wrote the note is the same person who designed, who designed and wrote the poster. Huh. That is a reasonable claim, but I don't see anything to indicate who wrote this note. It's unsigned. Doesn't need a signature, Inspector. I only know of one person who would leave a note in a place like this. No, I don't want to implicate my boy. I don't want to throw anyone under the horse carriage. Especially this person. But, well, in my opinion, the only person who fits this is... Mon Dieu, what was that? An explosion! It sounds like it came from right outside! No doubt about it. Beaumore, did you arrange this? What? Me? No, I have no idea what's going on. Uh... Um, I, I hate to, uh, be the bearer of, uh, bad news, but, uh, well, um, in a matter of speaking, uh, how to put this, for pity's sake, spit it out, monsieur. Fire! There's a big fire. Here? In the Palace de Justice? Not just the Palace de Justice. The whole island is ablaze. It's crazy. We've got to get out of here right now. The madam is a mood. Okay, you heard the rabbit, everybody. Clear out. Court is adjourned. I'm not through with you, Beaumort. Spit it out. Are you behind this fire? Told you. I have no idea what's going on. Now, can you please undo my shackles so I can avoid burning to death? We need to go, Inspector. Don't lie to me, Lioness. Is this your plan? Is this one of your lackeys trying to break you out? Is this the start of the rebel rebellion proper? You're acting ridiculous. I'm telling you, that explosion has nothing to do with me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? You honestly played no part of the Chateau Crenier incident. And you honestly know nothing about this fire. Seriously, we have to go, Inspector. Right. Let's go. Wait, Sparrowson. Undo my shackles, please. You aren't seriously going to let me die here, are you? I'm going to undo the shackles, baby. Of course not. Sit tight. I think they keep a spare set of jail keys around the judge's podium somewhere. The little tippy taps. No hesitation. I'm not gonna let somebody burn to death. That's horrible. I swear it's somewhere around here. Sparrowson, for what it's worth, I'm... I'm sorry for killing the prosecutor. Kokoriko. I'd be lying if I said that killing that bird didn't bring me relief. It did. It took a weight off my heart that had been there for years. But I'm starting to think what I did was... Well, it wasn't justice. At least... I don't think it was at least. Ah! I found the key! Take it. Undo your chains and you're free to go. You're letting me walk? Yep. You know that I'm gonna take this opportunity to flee the country, right? Sounds good. Try Britain. Maybe America? I hear America is nice. Why are you doing this? 
I thought prosecutors were all about punishing the guilty. I don't know much about being a prosecutor, madam. I've only had this job for four days, after all. But I do know that Kokoriko wouldn't call a person burning to death justice, even if that person was guilty. <laughs> <Eh>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just following his example. You're following Kokoriko's example? Was the Kokoriko I saw as a child different to the Kokoriko I killed? I don't know. I hear people can change. But we really don't have time for this discussion, madam. Because, you know, fiery, imminent death and stuff. Right, you lead the way. Actually, I'm meeting the inspector out front, so you may want to take a back exit. The inspector would see us both hanged if you knew what I just did. I understand. Then we probably won't meet again. So I suppose this is goodbye. Indeed. Good, good luck, Madam Beaumont. And to you, Sparrowson. You are a first-rate lawyer. I'm a good lawyer. I'm first-rate? Good. You made it out safely. Any problems? Nope. No problems at all. Excellent. It looks like the rabbit was right. Buildings are on fire from riverside to riverside. <laughs> My stupid California brain was like, yeah, Riverside, California. Riverside to Ontario. <laughs> we need to get off the island right away. <laughs> well, hold on, Inspector. There's something important I need to tell you. Save it. Our safety takes priority. The fastest way out of here would be via Rue de Arcole. Arcole? By Notre Dame. Let's not dwaddle, Monsieur Sparrison. Okay, I tried. On the streets of the Ile de la Cité. Cité? City. Panicked people of all ages and classes scurry away from the engulfing fire. Kaiba bar barges in like, you're a third-rate prosecution lawyer with a fourth-rate <laughs> fourth evidence collection. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. No, I'm first-rate. A criminal told me so. Smoke billows out of the burning buildings, enveloping the sky in a dark cloud. This place is in utter chaos. Inspector, slow down. I really need to tell you this. It can wait. It really can't. Listen, back in the catacombs, Falcon told me something. I thought he was just saying stupid things because he was angry and stressed. But then, with the Chateau Cournier incident, and now with this, well, I think he might have been telling the truth and cut the preamble and spit it out. Falcon told me that he was the Viridian killer. Inspector? Are you okay? <laughs> I knew it. Run along, Sparrowson. Get off the island safely. You aren't coming too? No. I think I'm going to go arrest the Viridian Killer. I've hunted him for 18 years, and now I finally have my opportunity. You're going to arrest Falcon? But, but you don't know where he is. I do know where he is. The arrogant f ooh, son of a bitch is watching us right now. He is? I don't see him. Like I said, this is my arrest to make Sparrowson. Run along. Inspector? What do I do now? We're gonna stay in... Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, look at my terrible birdie boy. Fancy lead. Brat, pretty bird. Such a beautiful view. Oh. Oh, Jesus. A perfect place to watch the city burn. Inspector, it's about time. Come on. Step out of the shadows. You. I knew it. 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 You were the one responsible for the bombings of the July Revolution. You're the one responsible for the bombings of today. You. You are the Viridian Killer. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. I am... Such a brazen confession. 
You knew before Sparrowson told you, didn't you? How long have you known? I've always had my suspicions. A falcon acting as a defense lawyer? Laughable. It's in your nature to be a bird of prey with Harley Quinn and <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> but it wasn't until Kokoriko and I carried out our investigation that my suspicions turned to evidence-based reasonings. You changed your name between 1829 and 1832. Why? Because you wanted to distance yourself from your old identity, that of the Viridian Killer. I knew that you had the murderous spirit in you. I knew that, under the right pressure, I could draw that spirit out. So I created the perfect scenario. <laughs> you are a fool, Inspector, but I can't fault your intuition. I suppose you wish to arrest me? Of course, I will arrest you. I will have you tried, and I will have you executed in the name of justice. Justice. You talk as if I am the only one who stands here as a sinner. You, Inspector, are just as guilty as I am. <laughs> I am an upstanding citizen. You are the one responsible for Severin Kokoriko's death. Oh, God. Someone tried to call me. <laughs> You're the one who ordered for him to undertake a mission that he had no chance of completing. You knew from the moment that you sent him to confront the rebels that he would be killed like a street dog. And for what? To anger me? To make me lash out? Well, congratulations. You succeeded. Here I stand as the Viridian Killer. Kokoriko is dead, and Paris is ablaze. Dozens have died so that you can fulfill your lust for punishing criminals. I've broken no law. I've done no wrong. You think the law defines right and wrong? That's a disgusting level of naivete. Regardless of what's written in the law books, we're both sinners. Of the worst kind, Inspector. We both deserve justice. So let us be judged by the way of the ancient regime. Let us settle this through the oldest form of trial known to man. The oldest form of trial? You wish to duel? Indeed. I am sure that you brought a pistol. No. I brought one of my own. This is a farce. I'm not going to duel you. I'm not going to give you a choice. On the count of five, I'm going to turn and shoot. You can participate, or you can be killed. You really are the monster I expected you to be, Viridian Killer. Count. One. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if... Oh, that's not good. I must wait. Okay. Okay. Three, four, five. <sighs> He's not going to shoot me. That's the final count, Inspector. Why haven't you turned to shoot me? I see. I misjudged you. I thought you hated criminals through and through. But here you are, showing mercy to your worst enemy. Oh, thank goodness. I had a big stress in my heart. <laughs> you are a lawful man. A virtuous man. But you still await judgment for the death of Severin Kokoriko. If you thought that you could escape punishment just because you're willing to show me mercy, well... Oh, did I still shoot him? You're very much mistaken. You... You dishonorable Connard shooting a man in the back. 
I never claimed to be honorable. Ah, oh, dang it. Nor did I. <gasps> what you say? <laughs> so this is how it ends for us. Two old birds going up in flame. I can hear the people chanting. Liberty. Equality. Fraternity. The rebellion really has begun. No. This... This isn't right. I can't leave things like this. Inspector, I have a confession. I am not the Viridian killer. Yes, I bombed Chateau Crenier. I did that to get revenge on an enemy of mine. And yes, I set the city island on fire to spite you. But the real Viridian killer? The one you, the, who maimed you in the July Revolution 18 years ago? That wasn't me. I have no idea who that person is. We do. Did you hear me, Inspector? Oh. You're already gone. Maybe it's for the best that you didn't hear. Truth is overrated anyway. No! This is it. This is my time to go. No! Oh, God! No! 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 Oh, no! No, 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 no! Do not! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Not on my watch. Come on, on your feet. Oh my god, I'm started to actually cry. <laughs> Quick healing word second there. Oh my god, Sparrowson? Oh, my boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, the hospital. Sparrowson! Oh, my sweet baby boy! Oh, how is he, Doctor? Physically, Falcon's injuries are pretty minor. Just some minor births and a superficial gunshot wound. Oh, oh my god, I was being a big baby over a superficial gunshot wound. We weren't even dying. You made me, you almost made me cry my own tears, game. <laughs> but mentally, I think he will need a little time. I see. Don't fret. This hospital has the best medical health care in all of Europe. We'll do everything we can to put him right. Thank you, doctor. C can I speak to him? Sure, that's no problem at all. Actually, you should take him for a walk by the river. Maybe that'll do him some good. Oh, he's alive. Oh my god, I was gonna cry my... Oh my god. Hi, Sparrowson. Hi, Falcon. Feeling okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I haven't gone loopy. It's a relief. Come on, let's take a walk. Apparently, duels weren't as deadly as movies claim them to be. People got hurt, sure, but generally they were treat, uh, treated straight away at the scene. Yeah, they would have uh, doctors nearby and turned around for liability reasons. Also, they were super not accurate. For the most part, they would misfire. So, I mean, duels weren't that bad. But the way they were playing it up just now is that two people died. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so it looks like the rebel uprising was successful. The prime minister fled. The king was booted out of the country. France has a new and scary future ahead of it, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I hear Judge Maxime granted you a full legal license. Oh, my boy did it! Yeah, I'm a real attorney now. Congratulations are in order. You must be proud. I am. Have you decided what kind of law you're going to specialize in? Bird law.
bring back duels is the only <laughs> with, but only with old timey weapons. Yes. I want to be a defense attorney just like you. I'm going to be a defense attorney like you, I suppose. A defense attorney, huh? It suits you. You think so? Yeah. You're good at playing the hero. I think we've made enough small talk, Falcon. There's something serious we need to discuss. The bombings. Only Inspector Velarde and I knew you were behind the attacks on Chateau Cornier and the courthouse. Only he and I knew that you were the Verdian killer. So with him gone, it's just me. I see. Do you plan on turning me in? No! You're my boy, ride or die! And then Sparrowson woke up. Why not? It's difficult to say. I'm still trying to get a handle on this justice malarkey. Right now, I don't know what's right or wrong. Are you a murderer? Should you be in prison? I don't know. This whole thing is a mess. I find myself asking, what would Kokoriko do? Probably give a stupid Voltaire quip. <laughs> I guess. Listen, Sparrowson, I want to thank you for not turning me in, but I think I'm going to stay at the hospital for a little while. Maybe a long while. You can call it a penance if you want. I understand. You know, you could just go. Make a run for it. I, I wouldn't be able to catch you. I bet you could make it all the way to Kalai. Yeah, I probably could. But I won't. You don't want to be free? Mama didn't raise no snitch. Of course, I want to fly away more than anything. But some birds need to be kept caged. And that's it! That's, that's the, the worst ending of them all. <laughs> Gosh and golly me, oh my. That's, uh... <laughs> so the, the inspector is dead. GG, thank you. I finished the end of route A, Liberté. So yeah, they were, they were chanting out Liberté. Some, oh my god. Liberty, something, and fraternity. I just said it. <laughs> that was not bad. Yeah, the story was really good. It was just... It's it's the worst route, in my opinion. It's not the route that I like to end. When if when I first played it, I I got route C first. And then I was like, well, maybe what I sh You know, I messed up real hard. Maybe if I just don't say anything and I played route A and then I got Route B last. I went, that felt like it was the most satisfying ending to me. But they're all good. This is just an excellent game. I have I've have very little critique of this game, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just not as fulfilling. The only critique is that it doesn't want to run on OBS. That's my one critique of this game. <laughs> I Meaning, yeah. Thank you for playing. Yeah, so that's that's uh, all the days. All the things. We finished it all. We did it. Oh, that feels good. Okay. I think it's going to be just a mini stream today because I... I am tired. <laughs> and... I know that I'm going to get off the stream and immediately play more video games, but just uh, in a relaxing way where I don't have to sit up straight and I can be hunched over like a gremlin. So I'm going to say <laughs> Aviary Attorney 2. God, I wish there was an Aviary Attorney 2. I would, I would play that in a heartbeat. Just, God, I love it. I love this, this game, even with their weird hands. <laughs> uh, but thank you for tuning in. We are going to be starting a brand new game on Thursday. Oh, oh wait. 
Why did case B have an uncrossed? Oh, it's because technically, since we did... So that's the 17th. Oh, because we can't... We saved... Um, to get to this route. And so now, since we didn't do a trial for Kokoriko... We can't save him now, so we can't go there. I think I can go to February 11th. Yeah, because we're missing one day. Huh. I don't know. Weird. Either way, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm excited to play something new. I haven't picked entirely what I'm going to be playing yet and then I know on Valentine the day before Valentine's Day there's going to be a, a my single awareness day or sad for short stream uh, but that's the only thing I've got planned uh, I believe down there in the box thing in the sh on Twitch there's a suggestion box on what game you want to see I've got a few kind of lined up as well um, but yeah Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. And I will see you on Thursday. Have a great day. Have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.